Now, therefore, be it resolved that the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania proclaim with enduring sorrow the passing of Hope Anna Wells and extend heartfelt condolences to her parents, Michael and Patricia Wells, sisters, Charity, Faith, Joy, Grace, and Glory, and many other family members and friends, and be it further. Resolved that a copy of this resolution, sponsored by the Honorable Joanna McClinton, on August 4th, 2020, be transmitted to the family of Hope Anna Wells. God bless you. It was truly an honor to be Hope's sister. And it is truly an honor to keep her legacy alive. It is truly an honor. Hope she fought cancer so hard, so hard to her very last breath. She fought so hard. And God was with her every step of her journey. And he was just showing himself through different miracles he performed and just being with by her side and just strengthening her during this hard time and enabling her to encourage others. He was really getting his glory and he is still getting his glory. And even on her deathbed, the night before she was praising God, praising God. She wasn't afraid. She said she was not afraid. She has a story, she has a testimony. And I remember sitting down with her, she's like, Faith, this is a movie, this is a movie. She sat with me, I'm like, oh my goodness. And we're just sitting, talking. And by God's grace and with his strength and his power and in his will, I will make that movie with the help of anybody he sends my way. And I will write that book, I will. Cause she has a story and she was sharing her story. And there's more. There's so much more. So I'm now going to read the obituary writing. Hope Anna Wells was born on March 8th, 1997, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Michael Wells and Patricia Wells, the third of six sisters. She received her early education by homeschool before attending Beulah Baptist Christian Day School. Later, she matriculated to Christian Academy High School before gaining admission to LaSalle University, where she obtained a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology with a minor in Marketing, Leadership, and Global Understanding. Hope was born with a passion for community. Her youth was inspired by civic leadership and a goal to inspire as many lives as possible. As a youth ministry member of the Beulah Baptist Church, she began mission work in the Dominican Republic as a teenager. Another one of her favorite early commitments was the Martin Luther King Jr. Association for Nonviolence Annual Christian Pageant. She valued his quote, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? At LaSalle, Hope found her identity in enhancing student life. She was a student leader compelled to organize campus programs and communicate ideas with brazen vision. Hope would run towards the things that, most, that would cause most of us to cower. She believed in a life led by passion and encouraged others to do the same. In her senior year of college, she pledged Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Gamma Epsilon Philadelphia City Chapter. This dedicated circle of women provided her not only with friends, but the motivation to not wait to lead. Hope became the first on her campus and in her city to serve as a Shea Moisture Campus Ambassador. This role allowed Hope to encourage young women to find God in their natural beauty, from their facial features to the shapes of their bodies, translating body positivity to God consciousness. 
She planned events that promoted cultural awareness while developing her talent as a sales and marketing representative. Hope's programs were so successful that she was invited to other campuses across Pennsylvania. Christ first in her activities, Hope possessed integrity, charisma, accountability, positivity, and confidence. In the fall of 2018, Hope was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. She rose to the challenge to fight against this illness. True to her nature, she launched an advocacy project, Curl Saving Lives, from her hospital bed. Curl Saving Lives sheds light on Be The Match, a bone marrow, a bone marrow donor network to help others with cancer. During her fight against leukemia, Hope still laughed, danced, and spoke with humor and wit. She was a fearless advocate, strategist, and passionate servant. She held to her faith in God, knowing God would use her testimony for his glory. To her, every day she lived was a blessing, even if it wasn't pain. She said she was just grateful to live another day. Even in death, her face was full of light and love. Her compassion and care for others shined into the very last breath. In the weeks before she died, her father, Michael Wells, helped fulfill her dream of forming a nonprofit, Hope for Hope. Beyond her accomplishments, Hope was a spark for all who knew her, from the expanse of her imagination to the depth of her personality. Hope's love and kindness for everyone she met were unmatched, and her values allowed her to gain respect from her peers and elders alike. She openly shared words of wisdom with esteem with anyone who crossed her path. Hope adored traveling, which included visits to Mexico, Italy, France, and Germany. She also enjoyed designing graphics, singing a cappella with her sisters, and spending time with her family and friends. Hope's warm and beautiful spirit unfolded with each person she reached, providing Hope as the ever ready, the life of the party. She was a mighty, joyful saint and a testament to the love of God. On July 21st, 2020, Hope entered into the presence of her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hope was a caring daughter, a loving sister, a devoted friend. She leads to cherish the loving memories of her life to her loving parents, Michael and Patricia Wells, her five devoted sisters, Charity Wells, Faith Wells, Joy Wells, Grace Wells, and Glory Wells, and a host of loving aunts and uncles, cousins, and friends. We remain lifted by our positions as witnesses to our brilliant shooting star, grateful for the banquet of memories, laughs, and prayers she designed within each of our hearts. Since we were children, we grew up singing, first on the choir, and then also when our dad would preach, um, we would sing as well. And Hope was always very good with selecting the songs that we would sing, and this is one of the songs she selected. Free by Tierra Shear. My Redeemer has saved me from sin. My soul is awakened, I live. Free from what held me, free from what fought me mentally. You captured me and my 
my mind I am free if I'm yours I am free my Redeemer has saved me from sin my soul is awake and I live free from what held me free from what fought me mentally you captured me in my mind I am free in my heart if I am yours I am free. My Redeemer has saved me from sin. My soul is awake and I live. Free from what held me, free from what fought me mentally. Captured me in my mind. I am free in my heart. If I am yours, I am free. Mentally, you captured me in my mind. I am free in my heart. If I am yours, I am free. Mentally, you captured me in my mind. I am free in my heart. If I am yours, I am free. Mentally, you captured me in my mind. I am free in my heart. If I am yours, I am free. When the Spirit of the Lord our God is at rest, there is freedom. You can be free from bondage and heal from brokenness and full of joy. Be free when the Spirit of the Lord our God is at rest, there is freedom. You can be free from bondage and heal from brokenness and full of joy. Be free. Joy.
Amen. It is, it goes without saying, you don't really need to uh, introduce uh, who's coming next. It's like, it flows right in. You see that her daughter is singing, and then the father of Hope's father comes up to give God's word, probably most, one of the most, the most fulfilling thing to do because he knows where she's at, but the hardest thing to do because she's no longer here down this place. But we're going to ask her dad, her advocate in this world, amen. Uh, when, amen, her advocate down here. He spoke up for her down here. And he's going to speak for the Lord right now. So, Reverend Wells. honor to God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, the pastor of this church, uh, who, uh, Pastor Davis, and Pastor, and we thank God for the ministerial leadership of this church and the church as a whole for allowing us to uh, have this day for our, our daughter, Hope. Um, Pastor, Pastor Henley, uh, my fellow ministers, brothers, uh, especially my family, my wife, Patricia Wells, and my six daughters. Uh, you know, I, um, I, um, I, um, my pastor would, um, be up here preaching. For some reason, the Lord uh, just uh, preached my dad home going and preached my mother home going. And I was between uh, pain and praise, and preaching. Pain and praise and preaching. But today, um, it's been a journey. Really, I'm, Hope has really done her eulogy. Uh, Hope has really uh, spoke for herself, but just there's so much that can be said and we know time is running uh, short there's so much can be said we just thank God truly God is good in the midst of all that is going on just trying to grasp everything uh, this journey uh, me and my wife uh, we took hope to the hospital thinking maybe she had an infection or a tooth ache. And um, first thing they do is a, usually they do a test and a blood test. And the doctor uh, came back and said, why did you come here? And we said, uh, it's the hospital. Why not? He said, well, she, um, she has all the signs of leukemia. And um, we just kind of like just had a stillness like no other time. And I said, where do you go from here? And immediately that same day, uh, they rushed her into ICU. Uh, Hope was fighting for her life as soon as she got in the hospital. But uh, we just thank God um, truly for how he, uh, he works. Uh, he was working all the time. He kept hope, brought her through. Nobody was there that night to be taken care of but hope. God uh, took care of hope, and they got us ready to go uh, to another hospital where they could help her. Hope, uh, uh, she uh, was a fighter, and she kept fighting. Hope, uh, it, we didn't say it was over. We just said it's finished. It's finished. Uh, uh, we try to grasp things, and uh, I'm so glad that I had the Word of God. Uh, you know, the Word of God uh, is our foundation, because uh, in the midst of all that was going on, and seeing all this going on, and, and believing God, and uh, 
God is, uh, is good. Uh, he is righteous in all his ways. It takes faith to uh, be able to stand in the midst of all that is happening and being said. He's a sovereign God. Uh, he has been better to us than we've been ourselves. And um, what help, what help me, what help us is we factor in the cross. When we factor in the cross, uh, we can say all is well. We got pain, we got hurt, but we, uh, we got the Lord. And he makes all of the difference. I mean, just, uh, I would uh, just say what a hope. What a hope. And just for a moment, I'm not going to be long because I know how the time is. I could do what a hope. And, but then I, um, I just thought of hope. My first, and I was talking to uh, uh, Pastor Henley. I said the first message the Lord ever gave me at a summer camp, I was with some young people. And uh, I wasn't preaching. And, but they said, uh, we need you to speak to the young people. Uh, you come up here, you work with them. And uh, you got to talk to these uh, kids up here for two weeks. And my first message was a little, the living hope. So, uh, you know, hope, uh, hope lives. Uh, hope lives. Uh, we serve a God who um, he never makes a mistake. As hard as it is. If you'd ask me where I would be at this time in 2020, back a little while ago, I would have to tell you, uh, you must be having a dream. And sometimes that's how it can seem, but uh, we know that the Lord, the Lord uh, has hope. And he has given hope all the hope that she can have. He is our hope, so. Just for a moment, I'm going to speak to you out of the book of Romans 15, 13. I'm going to move along, but uh, it says, uh, 15, verse 13. It says, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. The God of hope. The God of hope. We name the hope and we believe God against all hope. Somebody said uh, she got a healing and she did. I hope got a healing. She did get her healing. I can reflect back when we were uh, down at uh, a Pearlman and we were uh, in treatment. And um, uh, Faith is talking about miracles. Uh, we've seen the Lord just working a miracle. Sometimes we think that the uh, miracle is a physical one, but God was doing a, a spiritual one. A healing down on the inside. Deep down within, God was healing her. God was healing uh, Hope uh, so well uh, that uh, people, didn't, you didn't see it, but uh, Hope was praising the Lord while she was eating breakfast. That same day, uh, we um, uh, allowed people to see Hope dancing. That was the same day. But after that, she was in a chair, and she was getting blood. And Hope was saying, he's healing me. Uh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. He, she was just singing and singing. Uh, she was just singing and singing. He's healing me. He's healing me. The lady came in and she was treating her with the blood. And she sat down with Hope and Hope said, uh, you know the Lord? And she said, uh, yeah, yeah. And then uh, she said, the blood. And she, Hope said, did you say the blood? Did she say the blood? Oh, did she say, she said the blood, the blood, the blood. Oh, thank God for the blood. Oh, what can wash away my sins? 
Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He said the blood, the blood, oh, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Amen. A little while later, Hope got up. She got up and she started dancing. Oh, she got up out of chair. I mean, she, she was getting blood and she started dancing because of the blood. I've seen some things. But she was getting blood, talking about the blood, and then she started dancing because of the blood. The blood makes all of the difference. Somebody said, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? I thank God for the blood. That's why we can rejoice because Jesus shed his blood. Amen. The best thing I could do for my daughter was give her the gospel of Jesus Christ. Loved her. We loved her to the end. We loved her as much as we could. <sighs> Named her. She got the name. We had the name before she was born. First we got charity. Then we got hope. I mean, we got faith. Then we got hope. Amen. One girl after another girl after another girl. Wasn't no girls around me when I was growing up. They were around my friend, Carmen. He was every girl's boyfriend. And he kept me out of a whole lot of bad relationships. Amen. Because I let me move on. But uh, I don't want to stay long. But what do you see? What do you see? I see right now. I tell you, I, I see hope. Don't misunderstand me. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. See, God says, while, he said, the psalm writer said, while I have my being. Amen. Hope didn't wait till, till she got to the point where she couldn't move nothing. But while she could move, she just praised the Lord. She just praised the Lord and danced and, and shouted. That's what she's doing right now. Because we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes, we got sorrow, we got pain, but we got a God of all comfort who can comfort us in all of our affliction. That's what makes me, amen, that's what makes me happy. God gives you joy. That's why the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice in the Lord because he conquered sin, he conquered death, he conquered the grave. That's what makes me glad. Amen. She was there, she was here. She was praising the Lord. She got her praise on. Do it all. She said, God is working on her behalf, keeping me and protecting me. Amen. I remember her saying, today is my victory date. Said, I'm getting ready to see something I've never seen before. She, he is able. He deserves it. One song after, I'm putting a praise on it. Regardless, I'm, I'm making room for him. I got a table for two. Things are turning around for me. God's got it. Song after song, amen. He's an on-time God. All hail the King. Oh, King Jesus. All hail the King Jesus. She said, I, I want it all back. One song after another. See, that's what the Lord does. He gives you a new song. Amen. We, the, the song of the redeemed. She said, all my health back. We, we, we all going to be all right. Breathe, y'all. God is the living word. No, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. She said, victory belongs to Jesus, withholding nothing. We have to surrender it all. Amen. He turned it. His amazing grace. He, he is my, cor my cornerstone, and he doesn't stop. Amen. If there's anything we need, we, we need a song. And that's what the Lord does. He gives you a song in the night, in the darkest night, the trying is night. Amen. When it's most pressing, it looks like things not going to get better. He gives you a song. Bible says that the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so. Amen. Daughter, sister, niece, cousin, friends. So many people touch. I didn't know she touched. I didn't even know that. I didn't know. Amen. I find out more than I, that I fearless. I, I said, fearless. My God, fearless hope. That's how she was. She made me think back when I was a little kid, not a little kid, make me think back when I was a skinny little kid. I was skinny and I was in a fight game and looked like if you hit me, you break me. They said something must be wrong with you. I didn't know what to think. I just walked in the ring and just swung the punches. Got to be crazy. Knowing somebody over there want to take your head off and you just go up there, everybody laughing, everybody laughing, just got up there and trading punches and 
somewhere along the line. Amen. She, she was out there working. I'm like, I was talking to Hope. She working. She working. She gone and gone. I said, man, I was going. I was. I said, where'd she get it from? You can't. No, you was out there. You knocking on doors. You going to areas. I mean, you going to areas from North Philly, South Philly, no matter where yet. You going. I'm like, Hope, where you going? I said, damn, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. But the Lord was with us. The Lord was with us. The Lord was with her. Amen. Thank God. How do you make it in times like these? The rock. The rock. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. How do you make it? I make it by the word of God. How do you make it? By the power of God. God, God not only saves us, but God keeps us. Amen. I, I got to talk to my family because when, when you hear this and you hear that and you hear this, you hear that, what do you say? I got to say we stand on the word of God because God will magnify his word above his name. When you don't see things happen the way you like for them to happen, I got to stay still. Amen. Be still. The Bible said, be still and know that he's God. Be still and know that he's God. There's sometimes you're going to pray and you may not get the answer you want. But it's still a good answer. Because, see, when you start praying, God starts to stepping in. You talk to God, and God talks to God on your behalf. And God hears what God wants to hear. And we cried out. We cried out. We cried out. We cried out. Amen. I was reaching out to people. Look, I need you to touch and agree with me. Because it wasn't just a physical thing going on. It was a spiritual thing. Many times we're in the midst of things, we don't see it, we don't know it. There's a spiritual thing going on, and we need the power of God. And God was breaking through. He was breaking through. She started talking about paradise in heaven. She said, what's wrong with us? Paradise. Don't you know what paradise is? Paradise. We talking about the presence of the Lord. We talking about the presence of the Lord. Absent from the body. Oh, it's, it's the most wonderful thing you can think about. I ask, if I ask 10 people right now, are you ready for heaven? They might look at me like I'm crazy because everybody want to live. The, the flesh wants to have the, you know, we want to live here. we like this comfortable. I'm not ready to go right now. I, look, I, I am, look, I'm single right now. I want to be married. But God is in control. Amen. The Bible says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saint. She was more precious to God than she was. She was precious to us. But oh, how much more she was precious to the Lord that he would send his son for. That's right. Precious. Precious. Precious hope. Precious. He, and God saw how it hurt, hit us. But he got some grace. Grace. Not just saving grace, but he got grace that abound and grace that's sufficient. How do you make it through this? By the grace of God. Amen. What are you smiling about? The grace of God. Amen. God didn't, look, God could have just took it. That would have been it. No, he, God took it. It was a journey. It was a journey. Now, we, you just see the hand of the Lord over and over again. The doctor said, look, she ain't got, but she won't make it through the weekend. And Hope said, I'm so glad the great physician is in the room. <laughs> uh, see, he's the doctor of doctors. Amen. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Amen. They gave up on her. They talking about hospice. We said hope. They said hospice. We said hope. They said hospice. We said hope. 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 Amen. We serve the God of hope. He's a God of expectation. He'll, he'll never leave you, never forsake you. God is working all the time. No matter what it looks like, he's working. He's working. I, I said, Lord, show us a token. Show us a token. Amen. She, 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 she just weighed up and increased. And I said, Lord, I said, that's not hope. That started praying and God started moving. Hey Amen. I didn't seen enough now. And then. Look, if you were going, if, if, if you were going to get me, you could have got me a long time. Hey Amen. I didn't seen too much now to turn back. Hey Amen. I seen too much. God is able. And that's the thing about it. God is able. God could have turned things around. Yes, He could have. I had to say, not my will, but Thy will be done. We prayed. Oh, yes, we did. We prayed and prayed and prayed. We pray. They said it's over with. The hope you know is gone. I said, is the hope we know really gone? If I'd have listened to some of these doctors, we would have pulled the plug a long time ago. Amen. 
But me and, me, and, me and my wife started talking. We started talking. We started talking. We got to talk. We got to make a decision to make a decision. Kept on talking. Amen. Kept on talking. He said, that hope in there is not your hope. I went and reached in my phone. I pulled my phone out. I had to go back to May 20th when Hope got up out the chair and just started dancing, started praising the Lord. I, I said, can I, show you the, can I show you a picture of Hope for a second? I pulled my phone out. She started looking, and she said, whew, saw Hope dancing, just shouting. Amen, praising the Lord, turning all around. I never seen her dance like that. That had to be the spirit. She looked at it, and she walked away. All eight of them were right there. They gave up. I see you. It was all over. Well, it wasn't all. It ain't over till God says it's over. Oh, you got to know it's not over. I don't, no matter what the situation is, no matter, look, no matter what doctors say, no matter what people say, it is not over till God says it's over. They wired her up. They checked it. They wired up tubes, everything. Why? They said, sir, there's no activity. This, how long do you want her to stay like this? I said, I'm going to trust. Amen. In the Lord. Not going to lean in all my heart. Not lean, we're not leaning to our own understanding. We're trust the Lord. Amen. Look, look. She, 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 they, they didn't put her to sleep. They put her to sleep. Say, she should have woke up by now. Bring your family on in. Bring your, we came in. Didn't we come in? <laughs> didn't we come in? We came in. We didn't, at first we came in. They didn't want to let us in. We came in. Then they said, I'm sorry, you came in, but we can't let you in. But then God worked it out and he said, all right, now y'all come on in. God turned it all around. Amen. Hope for hope. That's how God, God give you hope for hope. Hope for hope, hope for hope. God give you hope to keep you hoping. Walked in there. He said, look, we're going to pull the tubes. We're going to take everything, you know. And he said, all right. He said, all right. Pulled the tubes out and everything. You talking about hope. Pulled all the tubes out of everything. She might keep breathing or she breathe and stop breathing. Pulled the tubes out. First thing came out of hope mouth. Hey, Faith. Hey, Faith. Hey, Faith. Hey, Faith. Then she looked up, the nurse, up at the nurse and said, you is rude. Amen. You is rude. Do you remember how the nurse handled her? Amen. Everybody ain't sleeping like you think. But there's hope. We got hope. God gives us hope. Hope against hope. Hope for every trial. Hope for every trouble. Hope for every temptation. Hope for every test. Hope for every affliction. Hope for every trial. Because we, you're going to have trials. We, we had trial after trial after trial. Hope went from, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Jersey, Jersey, New York. You talking about hope when, when Corona's all around you. You got the hope in God. Amen. God brought it through all that. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I'm, he said, lo, I'm with you always. He's with you always. No matter what the situation is, no matter. He is with us. He's with us. My mind regulator, my heart fixer. I can't do all this. Oh. Amen. We tried on every side. We afflicted. Amen. It's like a whole lot of dogs keep coming at you. But there's a chain God got for every dog of affliction. God's got a chain. It can't go but so far. He could pull it. God went, look, if God says sit, it's over with. God gave us hope. God gave us hope. And hope for hope. Hope for hope. Hope didn't say uh, goodbye. Ain't that something? You know, when you say goodbye, you say goodbye. That means goodbye, goodbye. Hope said, see you later. See you later. See you later. This is not the end. This is not the end. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Hope said, Luke, 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 I'm out of here. I got to go. Luke. 
goodbye. Goodbye to Luke and see you later to the family. See you later. See you later. I tell you, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. So how do we walk? Not by sight. We walk by faith. Knowing that God is able, whatever he pleases. And what's up? And look, he does all things well. Does all things well. My faith says it is well with my soul because I know that God has made all the difference. It's well. How you doing? I'm hurting. Yes, there's sorrow, there's pain. But then there's the joy of the Lord because he conquered sin. He conquered death. He conquered the grave. And he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Amen. Things are not, it's a chunk, it's like a chunk that's been taken out. But one thing about the Lord, he knows how to deal with that chunk. Amen. Amen. He, he captures every tear. He captures all of our sorrow, all our pain. And, and it's coming a time when there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more sickness. All this will be passed away. Amen. We cherish the days. We cherish the time. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Hope is just having a good time right now. Yes, she is. If we could have kept her here, we would have. We would have kept her here. But God, God wanted her more. And we got to rest in his sovereign will. Got to rest in it. Got to rest in it. Rest in him. He's my rest. He's my peace. Rest in him. As Hope said, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. God will use this for good. God will use this for good. God will use this for good. And you may be here. It may be somebody here. You don't have the God of hope. The God of hope. The God of our salvation. He makes all of the difference. Not only does he give us hope, but he is, he is our hope. He is our peace. He is where you find your joy, your peace, your, where you find it. I find it in Jesus. He's my peace. He's my joy. He's my strength. He's my life. He's my all in all. And if you come to know him, you'll say the same thing. He'll give you peace, the passive violence. He'll give you joy. He'll comfort you. When you're down, he'll lift you up. When you're weak, he'll strengthen you. And so we're just going to bow heads for a second. Maybe somebody here, somebody here, somebody, you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and say the hope, the hope, the difference was the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope, hope was the God of the Bible. Hope, hope was Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus who loved us and died for us, who was buried for us, rose for us, and is coming back again for us. Oh, what a comfort. What a comfort. This too shall pass. That's the hope we got. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. You, you, you don't know Jesus Christ. Cry out. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sins. I believe you were buried. Lord, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Because one day we're all going to come this way. We're all going to come this way. The best thing I could do. Beyond and above all was present the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ to my daughter, to my children. The gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ that brings to light life and immortality. The gospel, the good news. And if you, ha you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I pray that you will cry out and say, Lord, I believe you died for my sins. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Hope is going to be with the Lord. She's going to be with the Lord. But we will always have hope. We will always have hope and have hope in our heart. Going to miss her. But we know where she at. We know where, the, we know where hope is at. She's with the Lord. She's with the Lord. She's with the Lord. She's with the Lord. God bless you.
God bless you. God bless you. We're going to ask several ladies to help us to carry flowers out. And we have two gentlemen to help as pallbearers. Gentlemen, if you'll just come up beside there. Those of you who are going to drive your cars, you're going to get a sticker from us. Everyone else, I believe, will be in the van that is with us. God bless you all. Wood Funeral Home, as we go out, we're going to take the family out first, and then please go straight to your cars so we may be in to expedite to the cemetery. Amen? Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. 